Welcome to F Mary Kill, the Try Guys dating show where we have a very special guest play F Mary Kill with three people that they personally know. The twist is, they won't know who's who because our contestants' voices will be completely distorted. The Try Guys have played this before with Ned's wife. We played this with strangers on our international tour, but all of that pales in comparison to today's very special celebrity guest, my very own mother. Wow. Are you excited to be here? No, not exactly, because uh, you told me just uh, right, uh, last night, you know, be here. So it's uh, so embarrassing, and I wasn't prepared. I didn't fix my hair, you know. Mom. I couldn't find the right clothes. Mom. Okay. Wow, we're off to a great start. I was okay. trying to be a good host. Do you see me being a good host? Yes. Then you just told me. You just told them all about my all my problems. Okay, sure. Okay, you got to be yeah. nice and be nice to me. Oh, okay. Okay. You are, you are smart Thank and you. handsome, Thank but you. not very organized. Uh. Not telling me. Mom. Yes. You are gonna play Mary Kill. Wow. With the other Try Guys. Wow, interesting. Do you know what means? Yes, I know, but I don't want to say F words. <laughs> you know my three best mm -hmm. friends very well. Yes. Keith. Keith. Ned. Uh -huh. Zach. Keith, Ned, and Zach. Mm -hmm. I like uh, each of them, you know, they have good point, each of them. Like uh, Ned is like family guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, and Keith is funny. Mm -hmm. And Jack. He's there. He's cute. <laughs> He's, there. He's cute. But I like three that good point mixed together, you know. That's what I like. <laughs> you saved it with the cute, Mom. Mom, are you ready to meet our mystery bachelors? Yes, yeah, sure. Bachelor number one, can you please introduce yourself to my mother? Hello. I'm bachelor number one. What do you wow. think of that voice? Not very attractive. <laughs> Bachelor number two, say hi. Hello. It's I, bachelor number two, and I can't wait to win your heart. Oh, bachelor number two is worse than number one. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, let's hear from bachelor number three. Hey, mama. So excited to get to know you better. I'm bachelor number three. Wow, it sounds so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Our first round is romantic questions. Mm. Mom, ask the bachelors your first one. Uh, what is your idea for perfect first date? Bachelor number one. I know that your favorite fruit is olives, so I would take you to a romantic dinner at my favorite authentic Italian place, Olive Garden. Wow, that's great. <laughs> it's my one of my favorite. Is Long it? time ago. Let's hear from Bachelor number two. After a dinner atop the Eiffel Tower, I would buy you diamonds because you deserve the finest things in life. Wow, that Apple Tower, the restaurant, is very nice. I went there. Oh, you you've know. already been there? Yeah, many times. And the worst thing is it takes uh, four hours for finish the dinner. That's a good try. It's great. <laughs> nice try, bachelor number two. Let's hear from bachelor number three. You know, you're beautiful like a flower. So I think we should take a stroll through a flower garden. After we've picked flowers, we'll go, I don't know, to the beach? Sure, that sounds fun, huh? Watch the sunset, fall in love. Wow. So who was your favorite answer so far? Number three. Ooh, it sounds like bachelor number three is taking an early lead. Yes. <laughs> Let's go on to our next question. Uh, what is your favorite part of a woman and why? Why you like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> bachelor number two, answer very carefully because I am here as well. My favorite part of a woman is her big, juicy brain. That's right. I like to talk to you and find out what do you know. Also, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I know that we'll be right together. Two big juicy brains. Oh, I agree that because I love somebody knowledgeable. I don't attract to somebody is not knowledgeable. It's hard to pick just one part because I believe a woman's potential is limitless. But I would have to say your hair because yeah, 
you really know how to work it. You know, I never thought of my hair is pretty. I never go to a beauty shop. And not never, but I cut it sometimes. But most of the time, I handle myself and I don't too much pay attention for the hair. Bachelor number three, your favorite part of my mom. I mean a woman. Ew. Oh, sorry. Hey, mama. I have to say that my favorite part of a woman is her neck. Such elegant, smooth lines, beautiful soft skin, plus it encapsulates the vocal cords for which I can listen to your beautiful voice all night long. Wow. Neck and voice. I know, but I think I'm kind of a little high tone, especially when I, you know, talking by telephone, my voice is going up like very exciting, you know. Yeah. So I'll choose number one. For you like brain. these answers the best. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, these are all compliments. You have to take the compliments. Oh, thanks. I should say thanks. <laughs> it's not time for you to critique yourself. You're, they're fighting for your attention. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, how would you like to uh, propose me for marriage? Bachelor number one. We're gonna take a plane trip to Napa and we'll share a nice bottle of white wine overlooking the vineyards and as the sun sets, I'll get down on one knee and show you the biggest diamond you've ever seen. <laughs> Wow, so, that's a big plan. Very traditional. I know, but uh, actually I like uh, red wine, not white wine. <gasps> and I'm not crazy about diamond. So, could have had a better answer. Yes. Uh, I'm a simple man, so it's going to be a simple day surrounded by the most important people in the world, your family. And after drinking red wine, we will take photographs and tell Eugene to smile in the photo because he's way more handsome when he smiles. And Eugene, you should smile more in photos. Wow, that's a good answer. I love it. Picture this, Mama. You wake up on the second floor of a historic cabin in an empty California game bed. <laughs> you look out the window. It has snowed. Not only has it, has it snowed, but you will see my giant body made of snow melt down on one snowy knee, holding up me. And me, I will be there also on one knee in the palm of my own hand, with a ring of your choice, wishing you well through the window and asking for your hand. Wow, that's very imaginary. It's not pretty realistic. No. So I still like the... Is there a second one? Two? Yeah. Wow, after the first round of romantic questions, my mother preferred each bachelor's answer for a different one. So they're all neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Out of all of them, mm -hmm. who would you want to marry the most? Marry the most? <laughs> None of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Old actors, Sean Connery. He's not an option, Mom. He's not an option. In this room? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mom, pick someone in this room. Uh, I saw the guy when I uh, had a lunch, that's a cute guy. You told me the name Jonathan? Maybe if I'm 40 Whoa. years younger, that's, I can date him. That's not a try guy. That's, that's not a try guy. He's, okay. he's running sorry, our sorry, sound. Sorry. He's an employee. Okay. He's he is very cute. Yeah, he's you, very cute. You like his hair, right? I like uh, his hair yeah. and his face uh, and he's cute, very cute. I like his name Jonathan because, uh, you know, actually I was going to name you Jonathan really? before you were born. But when you were born, I see the newborn baby, you don't look like Jonathan, you look like Eugene. Wow. <laughs> so I, I changed immediately to Eugene. Was I an ugly baby? No, Eugene. no, 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 Eugene was cute. We're moving on to the next round of questioning, which is more fun, less romantic question. If you want to be any animal, you know, what you want to be and why? If I could be any animal, I would be the crane, a beautiful bird with long legs and luscious feathers. I don't like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> she does not like birds. Yes. If I could be any animal, Mama, I would be the dolphin. 
because then I could perform amazing feats of brilliance for you to gaze upon. <laughs> dolphin mom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I love dolphin. High IQ, mm. I think. Smart. Yeah, yes. smart. Too. And sexually attracted to humans. <laughs> ah, you see. Yeah. I didn't know that. I would be the elephant because they love their family, they're a sign of good luck, and I could do funky things with my trunk. Oh, it's too big for riding and too big for playing. I'm afraid if ele elephant with a big nose hit me, you know. You die. Oh, that's awful. So I love the, uh, you know, number three. Mm. Is the number three pick up the dolphin? dolphin. Yeah, exactly. If your house is fired, what is the one thing you're gonna grab it? If the house was burning down, I would grab your wardrobe because I love the way you dress and even though the house is gone I want to make sure that you look your best oh you know can I tell what I like yeah. when it's a fire mm -hmm. I like my computer <laughs> <laughs> not my wardrobe <laughs> you can buy you can buy it yeah right yeah. so I would grab the original copy of the Declaration of Independence because with you by my side, I will become the President of the United States of America because we are a power couple, baby, and we gotta say what this country was founded on. Wow. The Declaration of Independence. I know, I know. his house. Yeah. What do you think? I haven't think about it. That's that important <laughs> for me. I'm so responsible that I've already made backup copies of all of our valuables. So, as I was leaving our burning down house, I'd give you a smooch and grab your booty. <laughs> what, what, what was it? You said I, I, would, I would grab, your, yeah, grab your butt because we're already so prepared. Yeah, that's a good answer, you know. You like to save me, <laughs> which is good answer. So. So you think when he's grabbing your butt, he's saving you? Yeah. I, I think, think he so. meant maybe like a little sexual. Oh my god. No, <laughs> no I don't think so. He no. mean he like to save me. Oh god. Exactly. Sure. Yes. So you liked Bachelor Number One's answer, grabbing the your yeah, booty. Yeah. Right. 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 Life is short. Mm -hmm. You gone. Your life itself is impo important, so not the material. Grab the booty. Yes. All right, and the final question in our fun round. If we want to invite uh, uh, to dinner anybody who, you know, live or dead, who will be? If I could have dinner with anyone in the universe, it would be your parents, because I want to meet the wonderful people who created the most wonderful woman on this planet. I'm not very attracted. Oh. This answer. Oh, because yes. our family's crazy. On the, are you joking? <laughs> if I could pick anyone through history, I would choose Benjamin Franklin. Not for the work that he did for this country, but for all the work he did over in France, romancing all the beautiful women. I'd love to get some tips on how to make a woman in France fall in love with me. Wow, that's a good answer. Benjamin I, Franklin. Yeah, I, I like Benjamin Franklin. I would invite Margaret Thatcher because I like a strong woman with lots of experience and I think the three of us would have a very interesting conversation. Oh, I'm not sure. I am a musician, you know, so I like invite like a Beethoven. Uh, Bach. Artists. Yes, artists I value more. You don't care than, about politicians. Yeah, I don't care about much politician, you, you know. So yeah. none of their answers were very yes, good. Yes, <laughs> not very attractive for me. <laughs> okay, well it sounds like at the end of round two, my mom doesn't quite like anyone yet. <laughs> Who right now is in trouble? Which bachelor do you dislike the answers most so far? Not particular, but like a giant thing, you know, putting the in front of my window. <laughs> this, uh, giant that, snowman? Yes, yeah, giant snowman. It doesn't sound realistic. Can I have water? Yeah, do you have water? Thank you. Feel that cool water rush through your neck. Oh my god. <laughs> do you think that was sexy? Yeah, pretty was good. Was that sexy? <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> now, we're going to move on to the third round, which is questions directly related to my mom. What is the, your favorite thing about Korea culture and why? 
My favorite thing about Korean culture are the dinners. So communal, so many traditions, so delicious. Oh, that's good answer because you know we have a lot of good Korean traditional food. I love it. My favorite thing about Korean culture, it's the people. Specifically, your son. <laughs> wow, that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, he's very creative and he's smart. Wow. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You like his answer. Yes, I like Ooh, his answer. That's two for two. Bachelor number two. Can you impress my mom with what you love about Korea? Oh, I love everything about Korea. But the thing that I love the most is the culture. Wow, I couldn't hear well with that. His favorite thing about Korean culture is the culture. <laughs> that, that was his answer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a very simple answer. Very simple answer. Yes, uh, I'm not very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> not, not specific enough. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why would you be the best young man handle the older woman? Be very careful with your answers, bachelors. Be very careful. Well, mama, I think I would be a good young Young man to handle a more life experienced woman because I don't move too fast. I'm happy to just relax. I'm happy to sit next to someone reading a book. I'm happy to make some tea in the afternoon. I just want someone to love and someone to share our calm life with. Oh, uh, he wants to it's very settle down. I know, I know. Most of younger men married older woman is for settle down. For me, it's simple. I listen. Oh, he you listen. Listens. That's very important because uh, the husband doesn't listen, always fight. <laughs> Whatever I want to do, listen. Wow, that's good. Hmm. Not yes. sure how it relates to the question, but it's a good answer. First of all, she's not older. She's more experienced. And while the whole world is filled with princesses, I want to treat you like a queen. Wow, it's a fantasy. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna live in fantasy. Yes, <laughs> with the best treat, guy. treat you like a queen. It's not very realistic, but I like this answer. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, it sounds like bastard number two is making up some lost ground here. Mm. This could be anyone's game. Okay, with your best French accent, what is the sexiest, you know, answer yes. you can give? What is the sexiest thing you can say? Because my mother lives in Paris and Seoul, so we want to get the French side represented. Ho ho ho, mama. <laughs> Take you to a wine and cheese store together. We will eat cheese and wine together. And then we will, of course, have sex with each other. <laughs> How was <laughs> wine, cheese, six? That sounds great. <laughs> Imagine we are sitting at a restaurant together, and you need <laughs> and you need another napkin. I shall turn to the waiter and say, "We serve une autre serviette." It means. May I please have another napkin? So the yes. sexiest thing he could think of was getting you another napkin. When I really need a napkin, you know. It's nice. If he asking, it's very nice, but some I already have it, you know, it's not necessary. So, so wine and cheese and sex was more sexy? Yeah, I think so, <laughs> yes. With you, I only need one French word. Oui, because I could never say no to you. And then we would have wine, cheese, and sex. Sometimes a man has to get uh, his opinion. We, <laughs> we, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, in relationship, you don't like boring. Yes, uh, yeah, exactly. You've had two very interesting husbands. Oh my God! Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> So, that is the end of our three rounds, and we have one final question before you make your decision on who you're gonna f marry and kill. Okay. Are you ready for the final question? You, yes. If you marry me, why will be the best for Eugene? So, well, who will be my best daddy? Mm hmm. Mm, very weird question. Yes. I'm sorry, Mom. I would be the best daddy to Eugene because I'm firm yet fair. And I have lots of experience buying Eugene dinner. Um, 
not very impressed. Uh, has to be something special, you okay. know. Okay. I would be the best Eugene daddy. He would know that his mother is the happiest she's ever been in her life. And I would make Eugene smile in every photo. Well, I like this answer because uh, I want my son always be happy. If we make you happy, I'm happy. No, he said he's going to make you happy. I'm going to be happy. So do you think you like the answer that he'll make you happy uh -huh. to make me happy? Yeah, I mm. like the other way, <laughs> actually. <laughs> nice try, daddy number two. <laughs> Sounds like you need an impressive answer from daddy number three. Yeah, right. Daddy yeah. number three, blow my mom away. Well, mama, I have to say that if we got married and I became Eugene's father, even though I know you have other children, Eugene will be happy because he will be daddy's favorite. I'll be his favorite over mm -hmm. my sister's. Wow, it's not necessary. <laughs> you, you have to be equally, you know, like it. Plus, he has great experience sitting in my lap. References my mother might not remember, but <laughs> the audience will be dialed in. Uh, I didn't very impressed for three of answers. So they're all bad answers. Yeah, I okay. think so. What not quite bad, but not satisfied, you know. What a wonderful way to end the game. My mother, not quite bad, but still unsatisfied. Okay, mom. Hmm. After reviewing all of their answers, yes. which one of my best friends have you decided to f Get ready to make some wow. love. <laughs> wow. Oh, hi. Thank you so much. Thank you yes. so much. You look so sexy <laughs> Thank with that you. outfit. Well, well. <laughs> Out of all my best friends, you have chose to f the most married one. Ooh. <laughs> Ned, how do you feel? Uh, I'm honored. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with the whole situation, but yes, like yes. we're just two people. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ned, we did this game on tour in every city. Mm -hmm. You always had to be the host. Yeah, that's true. I never got to participate. Oh, and this was yeah. this is an amazing feeling oh, for me. Oh yeah. But not as amazing as uh -huh. later is gonna yeah, feel. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, there, cowboy. Even I felt weird about that. What was your favorite answer he gave? Is that you save the butt? That's me. Wow! That's me, girl. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Ned, who are we revealing next? Up next, it's who are we going to kill? Oh, 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 this is a fake flower. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you need your one. <laughs> OK. Anyhow, joking. We're, we're having Anyhow. fun. She really hates fake yeah. flowers. We're going to hold them. Exciting. Here we go. Wow. The try guy you decided to kill is... Who is that? Oh, you're going to unzip it. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. oh. Mid, why? <laughs> All I did was pander. I wanted to treat you like a queen. I, I told you I wanted to make a Jean smile in photos. I know how much that means to you. All I wanted to do was be a good daddy I Eugene. I know, but I like your answer for queen. Treat like a queen. But yeah, that was, I love it. But you know, your answer for like a bird, I didn't like it. Forget the rest, who cares about it? ask for Korean culture, you answer very simple culture. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been treated like a queen, but I'm sorry, man. You oh. have to enjoy a life with shitty kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> See you later. And may you live happily ever after. Wow. Hello, mama. That looks so cute. Oh, thank you. You are bright. <laughs> yes, and our future is bright yes, together. Yes. Did you dislike any of his answers? Uh, he say giant, uh, you know. The giant snow, snow proposal. Maybe it was yeah, too much. That was too much. Mm -hmm. It's not realistic. And <laughs> but what did you like? I like, uh, you know, lots of flower with uh, walking to the beach. Mm -hmm. That's I like best. Uh, lots of family, Korean barbecue and stuff. Uh -huh. I love it. It's Good answer. It turns out that today, I am daddy's favorite. Wow. Yeah. This, what a thrilling conclusion. Keen, congratulations. Not only do you get to get married today, but you're also Eugene's new daddy. Oh. And what do good sons do? That's true. They sit oh. on daddy. No. <laughs> they sit on daddy. Too many callbacks. Too many callbacks. The audience is loving it. The comments are crazy.
You did one time before I saw one of them. You didn't like it, but you can try. Yes. No, it's okay. With my permission, yes, you can do it. All right, mom. Do it for you. I didn't see this ending coming. Did you guys? Did you guys see this coming? Wow. So many surprises. Wow. You want to go give him a hug? It's your family. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 And mom, since you did so well today, I have a special surprise for you. What is it? It's Jonathan! Oh, Jonathan, I saw him! Do you want to touch his hair? It's I'll nice touch hair. His hair. Yeah, touch his hair. Wow, so cute. <laughs> <laughs>